I, too, have a Hemingway story. In 1956, my friend Karen Toothman and I met Ernest Hemingway at the bar of the Stockman's Hotel in Elko, Nevada. Hemingway was on his way to his home in Ketchum, Idaho. High school freshmen, Karen and I were doing our homework in her basement when the phone rang. Her mother called down the stairs, Karen, your father says Ernest Hemingway is at the bar. If you girls want to meet him, come down right now. Out of breath from running, we paused at the hotel entrance, reminding each other about the great article we would write for the Sagebrush Saga, our high school newspaper. I don't remember what Karen asked him, but I still wince at my question. I looked right at him and said, Mr. Hemingway, which do you write first, the story or the title? Ernest Hemingway replied, well, sometimes I write the story first, and uh, sometimes I write the title first. We walked back to Karen's house and were talking with her mother when Mr. Toothman came home, which was unusual. It was also unusual when Karen's reserved Germanic father put his arm around his beautiful, petite Spanish wife, Esther, and said, he said, she reminds him of Ava. Forty years later, at our class reunion, I saw Karen again. Obviously, we had aged. I heard that at one point she had a drinking problem, but was in recovery. I certainly had not written The Great American Anything. As we reminisced, I said, Karen, do you remember that your father was told by America's greatest living author that you looked like one of the ten most beautiful women in the world, Ava Gardner? No, she said, well, maybe, but I just remember that you asked Ernest Hemingway some really intelligent question about writing. And that's my Hemingway story.